Hey, welcome back. We're the Kanpai guys. We Kanpai, so you don't have to. Unless you want to. Well, summer is coming to an end. And it is. In Japan, that means it's time for the autumn seasonal beers. Nice. Today, we'll be looking at three different seasonal beers one from Suntory, Kirin, and Asahi. And they all have very unique can designs, as you can see. Stick with us till the end for our final thoughts and our Kanpai scores. As well as a fun game. We're gonna try to guess which is which with a blind tasting. And big red cups. If you're new to the channel, uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, please hit the bell notification icon for instant updates when we go live or post new videos. And recently, we want to say a big hello to all our new subscribers. Recently, we've had quite a few people uh, join up to the channel. So it's much appreciated. Yes, thank you very much. And please stay tuned because we have a lot of interesting content down the pipe. So our first beer for today is the Asahi Clear Aki no Utage. So this was released on August 18th of this year. These beer companies usually release these seasonal beers, you know, yearly. Usually a bit early as well. August 18th yeah. is definitely not autumn, right? Right. So. <laughs> As but with everything in Japan. They start appearing quite early. So this one's part of the clear range, right? Yes, so this one is called the Aki no Utage, which translates to Autumn Feast or Autumn Banquet. Banquet. Yeah. Oh. For the American viewers out there, <clears throat> uh, at least for me, it gives me kind of a like Thanksgiving hmm. feeling. I think it gives me the feeling of uh, Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom, you know. Eating monkey brains and snakes and things. I don't think th I don't think they have any monkey brains or snakes. That's not on, what they're going for on the this? ingredient list. So this one is what percentage? Ah, oh, so this one is six percent alcohol by volume. A little on the Laria side. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. This technically is not considered beer in Japan. It's a haposhu. Haposhu. Yes. What's that? Uh, haposhu is a classification of beer, but not really beer. So in Japan, for tax purposes, beer with a malt percentage lower than, I think, 67% mm. or around there is taxed at a lower rate than beer above that malt percentage. This one is lower in malt content, so it's considered a haposhu, mm. which means it's taxed less and it's sold less in stores. It's just Sold cheaper. Less. It's just yeah. cheaper, basically. Cheaper, yeah. Well, today we're actually going to focus on autumn beers. I think in a pretty soon upcoming video, we're going to kind of do a deep dive on Hoppershu. And so stay tuned for that. That'll be coming up pretty soon on, on the show. Do you have any expectations for this one at all? I'm expecting something with a slightly deeper taste. I drink some Hoppershu, but I don't drink Asahi Clear very often. Yeah. But it kind of has like a slightly... Dodgy aftertaste, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like initially, it tastes like beer, and you're like, it's kind of not beer. It's something's off. Something strange about it's it. It's like when so. you eat artificial sweetener. Like processed cheese or something. <laughs> 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 but that said, we're going to give all of our beers today. We're giving them a fair shake. So, David, can you tell us a little bit more about this Asahi Clear Certainly can. Akino? So this information is from Asahi themselves. Yep. Yep. We'll just do a little summary because uh, as a Japanese beer company, 
It has to be kind of long. A clear Asahi Autumn Banquet is a new autumn only genre featuring rich barley flavor and a savory aroma that goes well with autumn tastes. It can be enjoyed with seasonal autumn foods such as sori, which is a saori kind of fish. It's a fish, I think. Hmm, okay. Called. The package depicts mid-autumn moon and colorful autumn leaves to evoke the feeling of autumn. I think they went a little overboard on that, but... Yeah, the bright orange. Yeah, yeah. I guess we'll get into that later. <laughs> Uh, the product name Autumn Banquet and the words Roasted Koku Umami Jitate are written to appeal to the features of the product, such as roasted aroma and riches and umami. Uh, they aim to create a lifestyle culture that exceeds expectations in terms of taste and enjoyment through total marketing. That sounds somewhat threatening. <laughs> kind of evil. Hmm? Yeah. That links products, advertising sales promotion and stores so yeah looking at the uh, color it has a very kind of deep rich looking color very dark brown Sweet. for a cheap beer it smells pretty good it smells more premium than a cheap beer mm. like a hopper shoe come by yeah come by not bad not bad not bad not bad at all yeah in fact i would I would say this is better than the standard Asahi Clear. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I mentioned that strange, like, weird aftertaste mm -hmm. that one has. This doesn't really have that, I think. Yeah. Aftertaste is quite pleasant. And it does taste very autumn-y. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a heavy taste, and it's not a light taste. It's kind of in the middle. All of these hoposhu are marketed towards no drinking with dinner. For a hapushu, it does have a slightly full-bodied taste, but at the same time, the more I drink it, you can tell it's not a full-fledged beer. You can tell it's not uh, like Ebis or like uh, really like a beer beer. Yeah. For the price point, it's pretty good. Yeah. Cost is high, right? Like this. Yes. Yeah. High cost bar. Shall we try our next beer? We shall. Okay, so moving on to the next beer. The next one is from Suntory and it's called Kimugi Akinoaji. This beer is 5% alcohol. It's another hopshu. The can is kind of a play on the regular can that they sell called Rich Malt. I think they actually have one for each season. So of course now we have the, the autumn one. Yeah, I think these are released for every season. Of course, the spring one has cherry blossoms on it. Of course. And this one has different leaves to the other cans we're trying today. Right? Are these different? Oh, are they different? I didn't notice. No, they're exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> I see we did there, okay. <laughs> Whoosh! <laughs> do not stick out. Yeah, or just, the hammer will nail you down. Just do what your competitors are doing and you'll be just fine. Yeah. Right. Or you'll be like that one salary man wearing the pink shirt. Not Don't innovate. <laughs> Innovation is bad. <laughs> so this is coming straight from Suntory. This year, the Kinmugi brand will be rolling out three new seasonal Kinmugi products under the theme of small luxuries on the dining table and will strengthen its proposals for enjoying these products with seasonal ingredients and dishes. The packaging features a colorful design of autumn leaves to express the arrival of autumn. The package also features the phrase, autumn flavor is ready, to make it easier to understand that the flavor changes with the season. We hope you will enjoy the autumn flavor of the Keen Mugi brand with your autumn dishes. I love that they have to explain that autumn leaves symbolizes autumn. Yeah, it's kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> this phrase here, Aki no aji ekimashita. They did it. Ekimashita. We have reached full autumn flavor. Just in the factory, one dude is like, Ekimashita. Aki no aji. He's got a big whiteboard in his, uh, in his shared office. Hard cap. Yeah, there's one checkbox, autumn flavor. Fisherman's jacket. Ekimashita. I guess smokes. Can you go that for a cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a big fan of Suntory. I have 
higher hopes for this one than I did the Asahi, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Really? Just a need for me. I actually buy Suntory Rich Malt more often than Premium Malt. I don't ever buy Premium Malt. It's a little too intense for me. But this uh, regular Rich Malt, this blue can one, actually kind of tastes like, like a European low to mid-range lager or like can't taste like fosters fosters you know fosters of course i know fosters <laughs> it tastes like in england like beers we buy in like a six pack and get another six free in japan like beers like carlsberg like people really think carlsberg is like a very premium high level beer in japan yeah right? what's up with that so i'm curious if how different this is what this one's going to taste What's interesting about this one is they've kept the blue design of the regular can, just stuck autumn leaves on it. To be honest, when I was buying these today, it took me it took me a good minute to like distinguish the autumn version from the standard mm. rich malt can. So let's uh, check out the uh, smell. First. Yeah, it smells identical to the normal. It smells like a cheap publisher. Pea beer. Pea beer. Pea beer. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Not Paps Blue Rim. Not P. PB. How do you say it? Huh? Paps Blue Rim. PB. Oh, uh, PBR? PBR. Not PBR. Not PBR. PBR. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> this has like no taste to it at all. There's no flavor. It tastes like an American light beer, to be honest. I think you're right. Like, if I got this in a restaurant i think they're cutting it sort of with water nobody would drink this for the taste or for the enjoyment of you know the flavor this is just to like get, get drunk. drunk on the beach <laughs> with a cheap beer <laughs> it's like if you serve this like crazy cold it's not super cold right now yeah but if we if you drank this like super cold like ice cold just on a beach in the blazing hot sun or something it's gonna cool you down you probably get a little buzz off it. That'd be okay. American like an American light, light beer. Or like a... What's the uh, one with the mountains on it? Coors. Coors. Coors Light. <laughs> Coors Light. Yes. I stand behind Coors Light. You like Coors Light? It's very hydrating. <laughs> <laughs> like when you're jogging. Yeah. It's still Coors. Yeah, I, I wish I could find that in Japan. Yeah, it's this not, one is shockingly underwhelming. Yeah, there's not really much to say about it, to be honest. It no. could, could be any just like bog standard lager. Yeah. Yep. Here we have our final beer today. Uh, Alex, what's this one? This one is the Kirin Aki Aji, or the Kirin Autumn Flavor. This one is 6%, so the same as the Asahi we mm. tried earlier. And it says this one on the can has been going since 1991, so... Yeah, pretty long-running series. Yeah, <clears throat> um, we couldn't find any information on the other two, the Asahi and the Santori, for how long they've been doing their autumn hapa shoes. <laughs> this one's been going since 1991. It's possible that Kirin started the trend. Actually, on their website, they have kind of a list of all the different can designs that they've released every year since 1991. And it's pretty interesting to look at. Their design taste has really changed over the years. I think we both liked the second ever can design, kind of a pink color one with a couple of leaves on it. So yeah, um, <clears throat> 1992, I guess. Of course, maybe. everybody has their own like taste and sure. like like package design. However, the last two decades are just exactly the same. Can. Yeah, They're just getting progressively crazier. So. Definitely the first decade of. The can design was the best, for sure. In Japan, we have these jackets, and they have, like, Japan written on the back. <laughs> and they have, like, a tiger or a dragon, commonly worn by... Yankees? The Yankees. Oh, uh, uh, you mean the baseball team? Yeah, the baseball team. <laughs> I think we'll have to uh, explain the Yankees sometime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so those jackets feature very bold, aggressive designs. And that's what it reminds me of, anyway. So, yeah, for sure. I mean, the Kirin logo reminds me of that. The running kind of dragon thing. Yeah, like, 
like, yeah. I don't know, wannabe Yakuza or something. So let's go into a little information from Kirin about this beer. Okay. So the slightly higher alcohol content makes for a more satisfying drink. So this is from the homepage of Kirin? It is. Yeah. Okay. In addition to its rich, deep flavor, it is also refreshing and easy to drink, thanks to the moderate use of secondary ingredients. Water. Water. <laughs> Alcohol. <laughs> Alumi can. Now, they said deep and rich flavor. That gives me hope that it's gonna be better than the Suntory. But you never know, words are words, man. <laughs> Words are words. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and this could be written by like the guy who makes the tea for the CEO like, on his <laughs> lunch break or something. <laughs> Kirin Aki Aji will make this season's delicious moments even more luxurious. Luxurious? Do you think this season has delicious moments? Due to a certain situation, we can't go to restaurants, so I think I'll. Delicious moments, they're kind of limited right now, to be honest. Not if you buy this product from Kirin and enjoy <laughs> it in the comfort and safety of your own home. Uh, Kirin Aki Aji, which has been on the market for 31 years, is synonymous with autumn beer. Uh, the package features a unique design of autumn leaves full of elegance and sentiment. I think unique is a unique word to, to use to describe this that's because that's because i just added that word it's not written here. okay <laughs> <laughs> you definitely tuned in today good. okay good just keeping <laughs> keeping on your toes <laughs> why don't you take your time and enjoy the deepening autumn season with abia 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 abia, abia. abia. This beer. They mean this beer, right? Yes. That can only be found in this season. Okay, so all poured out. The color is closer to the Santori than the Asahi, I think. And the scent is somewhere between the previous two. I think there's still a, um, what do we say, pea beer <laughs> scent to it, but it's kind of toned down. It does literally smell like they just Come combined back. the last two into one beer. Yeah. It's like a combination of the two, but with a tinge of something extra. Chemicals? It must have like a chemically taste to me. It has a funky aftertaste. What is that? Bitter taste. I was thinking like, like a vinegar or... Yeah, okay. Mm. Something like that. As unique as the can. That's debatable. <laughs> <laughs> this is a quite an interesting taste test. They all are very different. However, after our review, we are going to do a game. Um, we're actually going to blind taste them, try to, try to guess which one is which. But considering I just said they're all very different, I think we fail at life if we don't identify all three <laughs> <laughs> i think it'll be pretty easy yeah so do i yeah we'll do it anyway but. yeah final thoughts if you want a cheap autumn inspired drink you can't really go wrong with a uh, hapa shu somewhat surprisingly the clear asahi uh aki no utage hmm. was by far the best for sure you want to give the clear asahi one a kanpai score? Clear asahi. Seven kanpais. I agree. It's not fantastic, but exceeding my expectations. I was kind of thinking it, it was going to be like a five or a six kanpai mm. beer. So, yeah. We did. So. Yeah. <clears throat> Santori. I'll have to go with a three. Three? Three kanpais. It's drinkable, but there's nothing redeeming about it. Water and EB. <laughs> <laughs> I will go two. Okay. Because it doesn't taste any different to the regular one. Yeah, I think I that's pretty want. fair. Yeah. yeah. Two is fair. Kirin, I think I will go four. But it's not like undrinkable or anything. Mm -hmm. And it still has like kind of an autumn vibe yeah. in the taste. I'll give it a five. 
I have the same thoughts as you, but I'm just feeling a vibe for it. All right, so next we're going to have a blind tasting. Blind tasting yes. and these are uh, very unique cups. Yes, okay. so as you can see, we have our red party cups out here. <laughs> uh, our frat boy cups. Yeah, American frat boy style. We're yep. just going to try all three and try to guess which is which. So for the rules of this game, uh, one of us will leave the room and the other will shuffle the other contestants. <laughs> <laughs> Cups. And then we will switch and then we'll come back in. Uh, we'll drink all three, I guess. And we'll guess which one is which. Okay. So if, uh, say for example, if I win, do I get anything? Uh, you get to live. Okay. Ooh. I'm, I'm going to die if okay. I lose. So. What if we tie? If we tie, we have to uh, both cut off one finger. Yakuza style. This is like a lose-lose. Well, if I win, you I lose like... a friend. If I lose, I die. If I tie, I lose a finger. It's true. And yes. the channel will just be uh, Come by Guy. If you come by Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for next week. <laughs> <laughs> if an S disappears off the channel title, you'll, you'll know why. <laughs> <laughs> you can go first. You want to shuffle first? Okay, I'll shuffle yours. Yep, shuffle mine. I'll come out. I'll hopefully remember to shuffle yours and not mine again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. This one. Yes. Are you thinking about it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. It's harder than it looks, actually. Can I try each one, or do I have to say, like, this one is... Try all three. Actually, no. Uh, say what you think it is, then move on to the next one, and then the third one. At that point, I will, I will tell you. But once you lock in, you can't change. I think this one is kidding. Okay. So you're assigned. Okay. I can change, right? You can change, but you lose half a point. Sampori Asahi Kirin. That's right. You are? Yep. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so you changed one time, so let's say uh, minus half a point. 2.5? Yeah. I guess I can have to cut the S of the combo, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we might be both losing fingers, we don't know yet. So I cannot see inside the cup. Um, I'll start with this one. Damn, that is difficult. <laughs> that is difficult. It is, isn't it? I think this is the Gideon. This one is the... wait. <laughs> <laughs> This one is the Sandori, and this one is the Asahi, for sure. I'm 100% about this one. Buy one Kampai guy. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I was right? Yeah, that's very okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Cha-ching. <laughs> <laughs> At first I wasn't sure, so I focused on the aftertaste and I was able to recall what the uh, Keating aftertaste was like a little funky right mm. so yeah. that's how I was able to do it sayonara guys <laughs> come by guys <laughs> if you're interested in autumn products food drinks please leave us a comment in the comment section below if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe and if you enjoyed this video please give us a like and until next time, happy autumn. Come by forever. <laughs>